everyone welcome back to another YouTube video today we will be looking at a speed paint uh, I'm really excited for this speed paint uh, this is one of my favorite drawings I've done uh, this was kind of and still am this is current but this is kind of me kind of playing with backgrounds and lighting uh, for a long time, a lot of my old stuff, you guys can probably tell, I didn't really use lighting or backgrounds. I kind of just, you know, would make the character and then, um, you know, just call it good there. And I can't believe I did that now because I feel like background and lighting like really makes a piece. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to be looking at a uh, speed paint that I'm super happy with. Uh, and to no surprise, it's Dobby, of course, because... I have uh, a little bit of hyperfixation. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so this is the drawing we will be looking at today. Um, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> uh, as I said before, I kind of played around with lighting in this piece uh, and kind of highlight shadows, just kind of the overall um, mood setting. Uh, it was actually um, really fun to figure out this background. It took a second because <laughs> I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted. I knew I wanted to, to be kind of like a cell um, jail vibe, but I didn't really know exactly what I wanted it to look like. So I kind of just played around with um, shapes and stuff and just getting different um, textures and all that fun stuff. So, But uh, anyways, let's get into the speed paint. Right, so here I am sketching it. Um, I, as you can see, I absolutely hated the first sketch, so I took a side profile from a male model just on Google, and I just used it as the outline. Everything else I filled in myself because uh, I'm okay with that, but I just, mostly it's the nose that I struggle with, so that's where that came from. Uh, just filling in the whole sketch, side profile, you know, just uh, getting it to where I want it. Uh, I started filling in his staples and I realized that I didn't like how many there were, so I, you know, put f fewer, <laughs> put less of them. Uh, this is me, you know, just get doing the base layers. I did this part pretty quickly. I was pretty, um, I was cruising on this part. I was inspired, um, which I always need to ride that train when it comes because it doesn't actually happen um, terribly often, so, um, yep, more base colors, this is me figuring out the background, as I said, um, before, I kind of just played with a lot of shapes and stuff, I actually end up changing the background a little, just, um, adding a little bit more to it, uh, here is the base shading, I guess you could call it, <laughs> um, I like to make Dobby look pretty sickly because I feel like he is. He's probably not in his peak health. Um, so that's why I usually go for purple. Um, it's kind of like a cool tone. I just don't think he would be very warm. I don't think he's a warm tone kind of person. Um, so that's why I do that. Um, this is me just more blending it's hard to see but I'm working on the uh, chest and I'm also just adding more purple uh, there you can see when I changed the um, I don't know what it's called like the the effect on the layer or something I'm not sure <laughs> um, but anyways adding more shadow shadow was really important for this piece because it was bright so whenever it's a bright piece you also have to have shadows because you know those are directly together. <laughs> they usually go together. When you have a bright piece, you also have harsh shadows. So really important to add a lot of shadows and stuff, not a lot of bright spots. I only had shine or highlight. I call it shine. Um, I only had highlight on a few parts of him. So, you know, just going through that. Get rid of the line art to make sure everything is looking good. Um, I really struggle with lips, especially well, actually, not even especially side view. I just struggle with them, period. I don't know why. They're just they're just really weird. Um, they're hard to, uh, they're very hard to, to, you know, color correctly. And I always feel like I can make them look kind of fake looking. But I've been practicing. <laughs> this is me doing his, um, his purple skin, I guess. 
it, I do it basically the same way I do regular skin. I just um, texture it a bit at the end because it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not healthy skin, so it's not going to look exactly like his other skin. It's not like just a different color. It's going to look a little different. Um, but yeah, just coloring that and making sure the shadows are in the right spot. Um, this In this piece, I actually started thinking about the lighting while I was shading. Usually I shade and then I think about the lighting, which can kind of set you up to make it look a little off. Because if you're not shading with the lighting in mind, it can kind of look like your character's not there. Because like, you know, the shading isn't correct, so it'll it'll kind of it'll look like green screeny. Um, no matter how good you are, if you shade and the and it's like not matching the lighting of the place your character is in, it's gonna look like they're not actually there, which is um, you know not the best. I mean, maybe that's what you're going for, but not what I was going for here. And just blending out, adding some darker shadows. As I said, the dark shadows were really important in this piece because it was a bright piece. And, you know, just making sure the uh, it looks good without the line art. Um, again, I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but um, I, for a while, I just colored with, with the line art, and it made it kind of a pain in the butt to go back and, like, make sure there weren't any white spaces. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think, I think we're getting close to the part where I realize um, how to do it. <laughs> So, um, that's really nice. I know how to do it now, which is, which is good. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand, uh, how it took me that long to realize, but it's okay. We're there now, so that's what's important. Um, just adding highlight on the purple skin and even more highlight. Uh, I've started to add kind of like a outline of the really bright highlight. Um, just because, I don't know, I think it really makes a character pop. And especially in a lighting setting like this, it just kind of, I don't know, it really... It just really adds stuff to it. So I started doing that. I put really dark shadows and really bright light on the edges. And I think it really helps a character kind of pop out of the scene. Uh, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I've been doing and I've really liked how it turns out, but, you know. I also, I'm just a random person on the internet, so don't take art advice from me. <laughs> I'm just doing what I think looks nice. <laughs> this is me texturing his skin. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot rougher now. It's not like the texture of the skin above. So, you know, we want it to look a little rough. Uh, now, if I was to redo this piece, I would probably make it even rougher. I've been struggling with, you know, getting his skin to look, um, especially this like purple skin I've been struggling to get it to look as rough as I want it to um, I don't know why I just I don't know I can't make it look as scraggly and you know messed up as I've wanted it to but it's okay I'm, I'm getting there slowly it looks better than it used to so that's the important part here's me doing his hair um, yeah I I really enjoy doing hair. Hair is one of my favorite things to do, and I can do it pretty quickly now. Not that that's important, but it is a fact. I can just, I'm able to do it pretty quick. Um, just adding some more colors to it. I find the more colors you add to hair, the better. It's gonna look like it has more depth. Uh, but you know, it's a preference thing. <laughs> that's just me personally. I think it looks like it, it looks a little better with more colors. Uh, more shades, I guess it would be called. And just adding highlight. Um, you'll actually see I rework the shape of this piece in a little, um, but we will get to that soon. So this is me getting rid of the line art and feathering the edges. That's just what I call it. I don't know if that's what it is called, but that's what I call it. Um, you can see I'm doing it at the back of his head. I'm kind of reshaping his hair a little. Whenever I draw hair the in the sketch, that outline is never really the shape of the hair that it you know ends up being it's always it always ends up looking a little different um, so I'm never too picky about the hair when I'm sketching because it always looks it always ends up looking different uh, and then just making it fluffier because you know hair in realism pieces uh, isn't spiky like anime hair <laughs> it, it's a little fluffier 
and um, this is me uh, doing the eyebrow. It's really hard to tell and it's a really, really subtle difference, but I think really putting detail in the eyebrow is super important. It really just kind of makes it makes it look a little a little better. Um, adding some detail to the staples and his piercings. Uh, this looks so quick, but it took so long. It's such a like little detail oriented thing. So that's when I reshaped the hair. I like it so much better now. I'm so glad I decided to do that. Yeah, I, um, I just thought it looked a little flat before. It was like not quite the right shape. So I'm so glad I did that. This is me figuring out the background. You can see all my trial and error. Here's some lighting stuff. It goes by really quick, but it's because I was trying a bunch of things. <laughs> this is how I do lighting, is I make the shadows and then I do another layer with the light shining in. And doing some sparkly things. This is me filming. Whenever I film, I always have to go back in the process step by step, so <laughs> it, that's why it reverses so, so much. But yeah, that's... That's the time lapse for this. And yeah, that's uh, that's this drawing. <laughs> this is a little better quality. I like to go back to the image at the end so you guys can look at it again after seeing the process because this is a little bit of a better quality. But yeah, that's this drawing. I still really love this drawing. I can't believe I never did lighting before because lighting just really, it just makes the whole thing. Like, I don't understand how I never did that. I never did backgrounds or lighting or anything. I was like, gosh, no wonder my art was lacking in something. I was always like, I would draw something and I'd be like, I really like this, but it's like, it's like missing the, the hit that you know other art has and it's lights because I didn't do lighting or backgrounds that's that was the problem well I hope everyone enjoyed uh, that video uh, I'm still really proud of this piece so uh, it would mean a lot if you guys either checked it out on um, Instagram or TikTok or just watched this video that would be cool too but uh, yeah that's all I have for you today um, next time will be more Omno highlights. It will be either the last video or the second to last video because we're wrapping it up. It's still available on Twitch, but like if it's not gone now, it's gonna leave in like a couple days. So um, if you're impatient and you wanna watch the whole thing, go uh, check it out over there. But yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It would mean a lot if you uh, liked it. <laughs> uh, support really means a lot, especially um, on the platforms that I don't really uh, have a lot of uh, followers on. So anyways, I hopefully will see you next time with some more highlights. Mm -hmm.